What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Today is an easy one. Right there, the Maytag Gemini. We have a bad heating element. This is a double oven, if you see here. It's the top one, and you can see here the damage, okay? So the first thing you want to do, obviously, is you want to shut the power off. You go down to the uh, circuit breaker, and you uh, turn it off, make sure it's off. And if you can't find the circuit breaker, check out one of my videos on how to locate a circuit breaker. All right, what we're gonna do is, obviously you're gonna get online, you're gonna order the part, which is right there. We're gonna unscrew those screws holding the element in, and you gotta be careful because there are wires that plug into this element, and you wanna make sure they don't fall into the back of the oven, because if they do, then you have to pull the oven out, out from the wall. So I'm gonna use a little painter's tape and we're gonna stick the wiring up against the back of these walls and we can, uh, we're able to grab it and uh, insert the new one. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get a screwdriver and take these screws off. Turn the door and what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull these out slowly, very slow. You don't want the wiring to fall off. You're gonna reach back, okay? Keep an eye on it, both sides. Reach back and see if you can pull these wires through. Because you want to reach behind here with your hands. Let's see if I can focus this. On both sides, go easy. And you want to grab the wire, the plug. You want to expose the wiring right there, the white one. You want to be careful it doesn't go back into the hole. All right? Same with on this side here. All right, once you unplug it, you want to put the... Uh, the tape, put the wire up against there, and it's a little clip you're just gonna take out. We have the older mechanism here. If you look here, it slides right on top of that there. So you got the end there, slides on top. We got the new one ready to go, and you're basically gonna plug it right back in insert this back to the back wall and put the screws back in pretty basic but make sure you don't let that wire fly behind the back because then you got to take the back of the uh the uh stove apart and it takes more time now that you plug it back back in on both sides the wiring you're going to insert it back into the back of the stove and you're just going to send your screws into those top holes right back in all right you just want to clean up after yourself and we'll go downstairs, we'll put the uh, circuit breaker back on and we'll test it. All right, screws in, completed. Got the little platforms that sit on the base. Let's go downstairs and hit the breaker. Always close the panel when you're done. You'd be surprised how many people leave it open. Let's go check that stove. All right, set the clock. Let's see, 1226. I don't know how to do this, but let's see. I'll have the customer set the clock. Let's give this a shot. Does it usually get red hot? Yeah, it takes a few seconds. Before it, it, it flared up, it was like on fire. That's Are you really? Seriously? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's getting hot. I just touched it. I don't see any fire. No, no fire. That <laughs> means we're good. So hey, that's how you replace a heating element in a double oven Maytag Gemini. You're going to smell a little bit of that, that new smell burn. So that's normal in the beginning. Don't, don't get nervous. All right? And that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe. Like the video if it helps you out. And we'll catch you on the next one. Wait, we gotta, wait a minute. Where's, you know what we gotta do now? Sonny?
Sonny? Sonny.